You know, there were some great stories this week. I could have told you about some of the great Halloween costumes we saw over the weekend circulating the internet. I could have told you about this one enterprising math teacher who made his fortune by uploading calculus videos to adult entertainment websites. But one video surfaced this week which left me absolutely... I don't even know how to describe it. In shock, speechless, awestricken, dumbfounded, I, I don't even know if there's a word. I was just at a complete loss when I saw it. And when I showed it to Stash, he said, I can't get through the whole video. So here's a quick background on the story. In Taiwan, we have two major political parties. One is the At Power Democratic Progressive Party, or the DPP, and the other is the Kuomintang, or the KMT. In recent years, the KMT has had trouble attracting young voters and supporters. And that could just be because it's been around for so long. The party, after all, is over 100 years old, and it has been taking steps to improve its image among young people. It's increasing its social media presence, and it also tries to make fun, memeable videos like when former legislator Yen Kuan Hung and now party chairman Eric Tzu covered a popular song to address pollution. However, sometimes the KMT gets memed in ways that I can't imagine it intended to. I'm warning you right now, what's coming next is mind-boggling. 64-year-old former KMT legislator Sun Zihui, for whatever reason, is president of Taiwan's Street Dance Federation. And that federation is hosting an upcoming competition. So if the KMT's goal is to attract more young people, then this competition, in theory, should be a great catalyst to meet that goal. To promote the competition, Sun asked some of her fellow KMT colleagues to bust moves and strike poses for a video, and the final result is, well... Choreography. Hip-hop. Ah. Pop thing. You have various older members of the KMT saying words kind of related to street dance, like popping, locking, and choreography, and following that up with moves that don't resemble anything they say. Someone on the internet said the video doesn't look so much like a commercial for a street dance competition as much as it does for a rehabilitation clinic. The hardest part about watching this video, for me at least, is seeing the legislator for my district be a part of it. And another thing, at no point in my life have I ever related the words hip-hop with this move right here. Besides making me question reality, this video also had me asking, is the KMT doing this on purpose? Like, do they know how they're coming off and using it as a marketing ploy? Because it's kind of working. But you know what? I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. The KMT tried, and that is admirable. Did this video have its intended effect? I don't know, because I don't know what its intention was. However, I should point out that questionable attempts to reach out to young people are not exclusively KMT. In 2000, President Chen sui from the DPP released an album which had a rap song on it written by current Taiwanese representative to Germany, Xie Ziwei. Yeah, a diplomat wrote a rap song, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just not something you expect to say out loud. You also have Taipei Mayor and Taiwan People's Party founder Ke Wenzhe who starred in a rap video, which is about as palatable as anything else I've talked about in this episode. You know, I kind of want to tell Taiwan's politicians that young people are into more than just hip-hopping, rapping, and street dancing. If this is what it takes to run for office in Taiwan, then you can count me out, man. I don't want any part of this.